Well, let's now shift our attention to the crisis that is unfolding in Myanmar, where amidst global condemnation of its treatment of the Rohingyas, a senior Myanmar security advisor has said that his country may in fact allow the Rohingya refugees to return home. Now, addressing media after a ministerial meeting on the ongoing crisis hosted by British Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly, Myanmar's National Security Advisor Thong Tun has said that more than 400,000 Rohingya Muslims who had fled the violence in the Rakhine province could and should be able to return, but the process is yet to be decided in terms of its modalities, and this will have to be worked out. Meanwhile, Australia has promised to provide 15 million US dollars in terms of humanitarian aid to the Rohingya Muslims who agree to return to Myanmar. We want to make sure that everybody who needs humanitarian assistance gets it. So this is without discrimination. That is one of the things we agree on. And all the Rohingyas in Bangladesh, will they be allowed to return? The ones who have left uh, recently, will they be allowed to come back? We will make sure that everybody who left the home can return to the home, but uh, this is the process that we have to discuss. It was a very constructive meeting. There was unanimity in the view that uh, the violence must end, that there must be a ceasefire. Um, Australia announced further funding, an extra $15 million in humanitarian funding. Uh, the Myanmar government has committed to uh, implementing the Kofi Annan report and we emphasise the need for humanitarian support to get through and also that the Rohingyas must be able to be returned home. And there was a very positive um, atmosphere of support.